Hello everyone and thank you for joining me for another video. Um, I just wanted to jump on here and, you know, talk about an experience I had one Thanksgiving while I was with the ex narc and being that Thanksgiving is not that far away, um, you know, I felt like sharing this. So we were living in Italy at the time and all three of my kids were uh the twin girls were toddlers and my son was a couple years older than them but um my ex the ex and i were getting ready to get a hotel room on base and basically do the same thing we did last year or the year before now the year before i went off without a hitch um you know he had family come that actually stayed in Italy like a few hours away and it was a blast uh you know we laughed we talked and hung out everybody made a dish and you know it went it went really well so like I said we wanted to have the same outcome for this particular Thanksgiving but it went left and it went left really really fast and the way it went left was, you know, we all get into, so it's the ex narc myself and our three children, and we get the hotel room in advance just to get settled in. And while he's there with the kids, I go off to get all of the, you know, ingredients. I do all the shopping at the uh, grocery store for our Thanksgiving meal. And so when I get back, the craziness began and we were expecting um I don't know if it was the same family members I definitely know his oldest sister was coming with her husband and I can't remember if the cousin with the cut or if the cousin was coming but anyway um his sister was on her way to our hotel room and he literally, I know people say that they looked into the narc's eyes when, uh, you know, at one time, especially when, you know, or specifically when the narc was angry and they saw, you know, nothing but blacked out eyes. I personally don't, have not um, experienced that, not to, you know, discount and say that that's never happened for others, but the scary part that did happen for me was all of a sudden, you know, while I'm sitting on the couch playing with my kids in the hotel living room, my, or the ex narc was, you know, getting some stuff together and putting things away. And all of a sudden it looked like he was taken over by like demonic possession. And I am not exaggerating at all. I mean, he literally was standing there at the, I remember he was standing like at the stove or the counter or something, putting away things. And all of a sudden he just froze and he slowly turned his head towards me. And he literally said, she doesn't love you. And I was like, what? And I was literally talking to my son. I believe I was saying, I love you to our son. And he just looked over and our direction was like, she doesn't love you. And I can't even imitate exactly how he sound, how he sounded, but the look in his eyes, the whole, his whole demeanor was off and it didn't stop there. He continued to berate me over and over and over again just talking down to me um it was like it was something out of this world I had I I had never experienced this uh from him I mean I experienced abuse in different uh ways by him but this was something way you know out of left field so it didn't necessarily scare me but it pissed me off and I just kept trying to pretend like I didn't hear him. I tried to ignore, I tried to just, you know, play with my, our kids and, you know, make the best of it and just hope that 
he would just go on about his business and stop whatever craziness was going on. And, you know, trying to save face, especially with uh, the in- or sister-in-law coming and stuff like that. So as hard as I tried to, you know, I tried my best to ignore him and he just would not stop. He just kept going and going. Like the verbal abuse was, it just became unbearable. Um, I don't cry easily and I didn't cry then. Not that crying is wrong, but um, that's just how my personality is. If you see me crying, it's usually because I'm extremely upset. So anyway, um, I didn't cry, but I just emotionally couldn't take it anymore. So I got into the only car that we had at the time and I drove off and I drove off and went back to our house and thankfully it wasn't that long of a drive um so I drove to our house and I felt like okay I have peace now you know it is Thanksgiving day but I'm just gonna sit here at home because you know at least I felt safe um from you know the the torturous verbal insults that were were going on at the hotel And so an hour or so went by and I'm literally just sitting on the couch, like dang near in a, just by myself, the shades were drawn. So it was kind of dark and I was just kind of just like, what in the world happened? What, what was that? Did I really see, um, you know, that happening with him as far as the, the change and the voice and, you know, so and about an hour went by and the ex and the kids drove up in his oldest sister's vehicle. And I have no idea what he had said to her about what happened or why I wasn't there. But he ends up coming into the house first. And I'm just sitting there on the couch looking at him like, you know, what is your problem? And he's starts rambling about I didn't tell her anything meaning his sister he didn't say I'm sorry but he definitely did his best to try to talk me into coming back to the hotel or whatever and um you know like an idiot I jumped in the car and I you know went back to the hotel and you know his oldest sister didn't necessarily she didn't come back into our hotel they had their own hotel room so I guess she had gone into her hotel room with her husband um that was you know across the way and I went back into the hotel room that the ex-narc and I were um occupying so we get back in there and when I say that as soon as the door shut the shenanigans started again and I was like that's it That's it. You know, I, I jumped back in the car, I drove home and, you know, that was that. And I literally, you know, had the rest of my Thanksgiving sitting on my couch. And, uh, I believe I fell asleep on the couch that, that night as well. Um, he didn't reach out. He didn't reach back out to me for any reason at all. And I'm sure he was, um, I'm sure he was talking all kinds of crap and, you know, smearing my name to uh, his sister and his brother-in-law. So I just wanted to throw that out there because it's been on my mind to share that for a long time. I hope that you all um, take from this that when somebody shows you who they are, just like Maya Angelou says... When they show you who they are the first time, believe it. And in the case of, you know, dealing with a narcissist, run for the hills and don't look back and don't come back no matter what they say and or do. And I know that's easier said than done, um, when, especially when you have children. Um, and, you know, even if you're single, there's the trauma bond to the point where it's like a drug um, no, you know, so no matter how they treat you or what they do to you, for some reason, you just can't easily break away from them. It's like they have a hold on you. Do your best to, you know, 
slowly break away from you know narcissistic individuals it's not for the betterment of your sanity but also your children's so thank you all for listening and i will see you all in the next one